Hi, I am Kram Khan, Electronic and Communication Engineer. For this time, the 2013, I am doing project on Brain Machine Interface Control Robot Wheelchair. The main motto of our project is to control all the device with our brain signal, that's with thoughts. If I think to control something, think and do. Think and control. If I think, it will happen. That's our main motto of this project. Here, for neither, we have now allowed ourselves to control a wheelchair with our brain thoughts and control. This in turn it will be very much useful for those people who have suffered for every day to control their um, surrounding, like physically handicapped people who depend on someone, they are depressed. To help their, these people, we have using this. Mm -hmm. Then, I will be explaining the official block diagram I am using is related to the scalp of the human brain and then it is connected to a low pass filter which will be acting as an anti aliasing filter then it is connected to a ADC inside this ADC there is a programmable gain control all in this all the gain features have been controlled through a computer and configured then the data sent by this device is in SPI protocol so that to interface to our PC we are using USB to SPI converter and feeding this into PC and then signal processing is carried out with a lab view. After all the signal processing is carried out the futures are extracted and based on the futures and the matching pattern devices are controlled and the data is transmitted through a Bluetooth to our wheelchair. The block diagram of wheelchair is over here. This is a block diagram. The data transmitted by the Bluetooth will be received by the receiver Bluetooth in our wheelchair. Then this data will be feed into a microcontroller at tiny 2313, then given to your motor driver L293D, then our wheelchair will be controlled. Okay, let's go into practical session. Okay, my EEG device is here. This is my EEG device which I will be using to acquire EEG data. This is my, I will be showing, showing it with the image, it will be much more convenient for me to explain this here. And um, here is it is here. This is uh, my ADC, and the output of this ADC is connected to a USB to SPI converter, which works on 12 MHz frequency. And this USB display converter is connected to this USB cable, and this USB cable will be connected to my PC, and then for the processing will be carried out on lab. This okay. is a device. Let's start our work with connecting the electrodes. These are my electrodes, which are gold plated electrodes, shiny, right? Shiny. I have made this from a copper pieces, which I have made from this a copper sheet cutter piece, and then I have gold plated this one. Then connected the wires. In this, I am using a single channel EEG device with a reference electrode so that I will be using three gold plated electrodes to acquire a EEG data. This here. Now, let's start with connecting the device. We will be using these electrodes. So, connecting these electrodes to these things. Actually, it's a single channel EEG device we have made. A counter is in this uh, thing. These two electrodes are channel one, and this is reference electrode. It's a bipolar device. I will be using these two electrodes to get a signal. Yes, it's gold plated electrode. It's shiny. 
and this yes. is here is for this i need a band for the band this is a band i'm using this is a band i'm using to fix this air quotes in correct position now these are the two air quotes main air quotes and we want to be placed here and another will be placed here and the reference electrode reference electrode will be placed in this in this side properly filtered okay now the each acquisition is carried out using lab view now the electrodes are placed and the eeg device need to be plugged into the pc here's the usb device this have a usb cable which need to plug to the pc now i am plugging into pc now have been connected now i can configure this with this is a front panel i have made for easy acquisition in this is a connection status and configure button and gpio io pins and the start acquisition Here, i can see the signals first we start the acquisition i am running it first we need to in order to get the data from my device i need to configure it for configuration i have pressed this after the configuration you can see that the connection status is green now i can acquire the data from it okay i will show you how i can control my device from it see this when i press this button you can see a small red led will be on and off right now it's glowing now it's off now i'm controlling it with lab view the controlling and configuration process is over now we can go for acquisition the configuration is over yeah gpio fit and everything is okay now we can move for configuration i have initialized the adc now let go for configuration i have started the acquisition yeah my device is transmitting the data you can see this is the fft of my data received data and this is a pure eeg signal from my brain here this data is being processed and the fft of it is displayed in this project what i will be doing is i will be extracting the futures from this eeg data and the fft pattern this fft pattern will be used to extract the data futures and the futures extracted will be sent to my wheelchair and the device the futures extract the will be used to command my wheelchair okay let us see how the wheelchair works after this based on the futures i'm using this robot i'm going to control it it is considered as the model of wheelchair Yeah, this model will be considered as the model wheelchair to control its brain. In the demo, I will be using it manually through a Bluetooth interface. Here's this light indicate indicate the connection. Now I'm going to control this here. See this? I have interface that matla, and here uh, command it automatically moves. Yeah. Yeah, this is a model wheelchair. As similar to this, we can interface any device with our brain signal. We can control those devices very easily. The device which is controlled manually will be controlled with our brain thoughts. In terms, this will not be a big challenge because 
we control a lot of devices in our day to day life, like for example, our hand, eye movement. This is simple because we have learned to do that. When we learn to use this easy device, it will not be a big challenge. We are the engineer to simplify it and we'll do that. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, yeah.